Spider is a popular Python IDE for scientists and data analysts. There are a lot of reasons to love Spider, especially with a host of new features released this week in the latest version of the IDE, Spider 4. One of the coolest things about Spider is its open source, built in Python, for Python, by dedicated Pythonistas. Thanks to the support from core contributors, over 600 pull requests have been closed in the Spider repository this year. After several years in development, Spider 4 is now ready. If you're already a Spider user, you can update to Spider 4 by inputting these commands in the system terminal. Make sure to quit the Spider application before you start the update. There's a link in the description to the page with more information on how to update Spider if you're not using Anaconda. Updating to Spider 4 is easy, but you do have to do it manually. Spider will not automatically update from version 3 to 4. There are a few key features that make Spider 4 stand out. The first new feature is a UI improvement that's going to make a lot of developers very happy, and that is Dark Theme. The issue to add a Dark Theme on Spider's GitHub page was first opened in 2015 and has over 100 comments. Dark Mode is enabled by default in Spider 4, but you can toggle this in the Appearance section of Preferences by changing the interface theme to Light. The next feature to discuss is a little more practical than a Dark Theme. The Spider IDE up-leveled its data science game by adding a Plots Plane which feels similar to plotting features in other data science IDEs like RStudio. Let's run through a quick demonstration. I've written a fairly advanced script that plots a histogram in Spider 4. Let's run our code and have a look at what it does in the plots plane. On the screen you can see the plotted output of my script. It's pretty cool to have this built into the editor and it really makes Spider a fully featured IDE for data science. The last new feature we're going to highlight in Spider 4 is an integration with Kite the AI autocomplete for Python. The Spider and Kite team work together to make quite a few changes under the hood to optimize Spider's completions experience and build in a deep integration with Kite. The new Kite integration brings more completions more often to Spider. Let's dive in and see Kite for Spider in action. If you already have Kite installed on your computer, Kite will automatically start working when you update to Spider 4. Otherwise, follow the link in the description to download Kite. Let's explore some of Kite's features in Spider. Kite uses an advanced statistical model that considers all of the open source Python code on the internet while ranking its completions by relevance so you get shown the best ones first. Kite also incorporates relevance from your script while showing you completions that are based on the modules and packages you imported above. It also has a feature called intelligent snippets which can help complete full lines of code by suggesting the arguments for method or function calls using the variables you've defined previously. One of the coolest features of Kite is called Copilot a companion coding window. When you install Kite, the Kite application is installed automatically. After launching it, it will show you relevant documentation based on your cursor location. Simply click around the file and view hundreds of thousands of pieces of documentation in the Copilot window. Hopefully you're as excited as we are for the new and improved Spider 4. There are a ton of new features that we didn't have time to mention, like debugger improvements, an updated variable explorer, an object viewer, and an autosave feature. Follow the links in the description below for Spider 4 installation instructions and a link to download Kite. Once you update, let us know what you think about the Spider 4 IDE in the comments down below.